The bar held a lot of memories for me. Most of them fuzzy, but memories nonetheless. This looked like goodbye. I'd gotten into my share of bar fights, but that night made me wish for any one of those. It ain't often you get nostalgic for getting your ass kicked by six sailors on shore leave. They barred the front door, of course. We were trapped in here. The only way out was through the back, exactly where they wanted us. Maybe I wanted to die there, amongst the empty bottles and my slept-in clothes. When you write your life into a tragedy, events don't always follow suit. I know you brought a fucking army down here, but there ain't much left of it. Tony's gone, TJ, Vincent. It sounded like a war up there. You better throw some guys at this, or it's all for nothing. Joe! I'm still hoping I won't remember this tomorrow. How are you? Oh, that's my guy! Time to see what's waiting outside for us. Well, it ain't gonna be a warm cup of milk and a blowjob. Always in moderation. <clears throat> Let's see what they got for us. The only way my first meeting with Passos could have gone any worse was if he turned a gun on me along with everyone else. I should have realized partnerships start as they mean to go on. I don't want to die here. saying the cops, but this was no time for bad jokes. He could have been setting me up for a fall, but something told me to stay put and trust him.
the right around the corner. Let's go this way. Let's go, man. The bar was right around the corner from my apartment. It only took a few minutes to get back. It's a nice place you got here, homie. Thanks for noticing. Why are you living like this? Like what? You know, scratching around? Sitting in bars all day? Maybe I just haven't found the right guy to put a bullet through my head yet. I just don't know. I can get you work, Max. Work that only a guy like you can do. <laughs> can you give me work sitting in a bar feeling sorry for myself? Where do I sign up? Saúde. Gesundheit. You were the best guy in the academy. And you won medals on the street. Hey, I lost loved ones on the street. All right? Family. More than once. Yeah, I know. So leave. Start over. You've mourned enough. I ain't a cop no more. And this ain't cop work. This is protecting people in places where the cops ain't too hot. <sighs> no thanks, pal. I think I just better lay low for a while. You! I want on the roof! You! I want on every doorway! And you guys! I want every fucking corner coming! About that plan. I'm coming after you, you motherfucking murdering bastard! Made a hundred angry grease balls! Who's that? Anthony DeMarco is the father of the kid I just shot. Max Payne! Yeah, that Max looks about right. Payne! You killed my boy! You killed my only son! We gotta get out of here now. Are you not inviting these guys in? When had I ever needed to invite trouble in? It always found me, no matter where I hid. Vamos, man, let's go! Droga! Don't be afraid of the fires. You think they'll hurt you? You think they'll char your skin and char your bones? But it'll make you clean in the long run. Uh -huh. The joys of hygiene! Come to me, you sinners, you evil men. You were born and built in squalor, but today you Lands in fire! No, no, no. It was hard seeing Brewer go out like that. But I got to thinking. It was what he was waiting for. A chance to make a difference. At least that's what helps me sleep at night. The apartment made me wish I'd got to know him better. Looked like he was keeping an eye on me. Must have thought we were kindred spirits. More and more I think he was right. It made for interesting reading. If I'd been given a few more years looking into the bottom of a glass, I might have been on the same page. Adventures of Captain Baseball Bat Boy, episode 203. We join our...
I didn't have a fancy green light on my gun, just the stubborn desire to stop those thugs from having their way. I hadn't wanted to live so bad in years. Up and out. Scramble away from what's left of your life over dead bodies and a few loose roof tiles. If I'd thought things through, I may have sat down and let myself burn right there. Gunfire over Hoboken. It felt strange to be at the center of it again. The target, that is. Like an old comedian hearing one last round of applause. <laughs> gonna get this prick. <clears throat> Come on, I wanna hear some motivation, let's go. Hey, what was that? What was what? I heard something. Kind of up shit. there! Up where? Up there! What you bitching? <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> no, there he is! Shoot him! God damn it! Some help there, brother? I needed his help five minutes ago. You look like you were doing fine. Okay, well, it doesn't feel that way. Well, you ain't lost it. Hey, it looks like there might be a way down through the wreck up here. There were wrecks all around, and not the kind you fix up for a weekend project. These were the wrecks you crossed the road to avoid. They don't need to second guess us when they're covering all the angles.
Fancy seeing you here. Always in moderation. These chumps have been chopping up cars around the corner from my apartment for the last year. The ex-cop and me clocked it months ago, but the deadbeat and me didn't give a shit. Show the blood so much. Scotch and pills. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. these parts. Let's just get over there. Yeah? You think you need a hand? No, do you? Let's go, amigo. You like that? <laughs> Should be a bit quieter in here. Yeah, it's nice. I can see why you'd want to leave this place, Max. It's real charming. <laughs> Isn't it? So look, I got some friends in Queens. We can stay there for a few days. Queens. You want a job yet, Max? So here we were, miles up the Tiete River. Looking for what we did not know. Max. You listening? Max! So like I was saying, I think they're a group called the Krashapre. Why'd you tell me they were called the CS? They are. I mean, 
Fabiana. She was kidnapped by the CS. The guys that crashed our little party at the stadium, they were a group of paramilitaries. You'll have to forgive me for not being able to follow all this. You're not supposed to follow it. The government can't even follow it. It ensures that no one's ever guilty. So why'd they do it? Bust us at the stadium. Yeah, somebody told them we were gonna be there with a whole lot of money. Anyway, the money's gone. I just hope we can get the girl back. Yeah, me too. I wonder where the hell she is. You know there's a harbor about a half a mile up? She's gotta be there. This is a known Comando Sombra area. You know, if I've been doing my job properly, we wouldn't be out here in the middle of nowhere looking for some broad who got pinched on my watch. That's what we tell ourselves, huh? It's all our fault. No, I'm serious. By the time they grabbed the girls, I was half cut. I ain't slipping, man. I'm slipped. I'm a bad joke. Max, we work private security. We're all ex-soldiers, ex-special forces, ex-cops, ex-good guys. We all have our reasons why we became ex. Maybe now we can put things right, okay? So that was it, was it? Say the magic word and be absolved of your sins. If only shit were that simple, I'd have done it years ago. Me, I'd been stuck in the past so long, I'd forgotten what year it was. Hey Max, quit your daydreaming. This is it. It's over there. I cut the engine. Light in. Don't go anywhere. Here I was, some hopped-up gringo a long way from home, making trouble the only way I knew. As the weather worsened, I caught a glimpse of the rusted shells of previous lives that had been lived out here in this swampy shithole, and I wondered if I would end up the same way, or what would happen to that girl I was supposed to protect. idea what lay ahead, and as much as part of me would rather be anywhere else, I knew this was where I had to be. I felt responsible. I just had to fix the situation, right here. I couldn't understand them, but I didn't have to. Cheap hoods are the same from here to Timbuktu. The slab of meat on the boat was clearly the boss. Serrano, they called him. And it seemed that our suspicions were correct. Fabiana was here, somewhere further ahead. I had to find her quickly and quietly if possible. Last thing I wanted was a party with these clowns. So far, I'd managed to keep a low profile, a bit out of character for a guy who's only comfortable with a bottle of whiskey or a gun in his hand. I kept moving toward the signs of life, rubbing them out as I went along. Thank you. 
I'd seen enough to know that Fabiana was at least alive, if not exactly well. Her captors didn't look like they were quite the kind and gentle type. I had to find that room quickly. I didn't want to think about what would be happening on that video feed now. Just my own imminent cameo. that I'd find Fabiana sooner than later, if at all. That was the chair that she had been held in. I had just missed them. A dor. Com a idade vem a dor. É dor de cabeça, dor de estômago, dor na virilha, dor nas juntas, dor de ressaca. É por isso que existe Interfectum. Here we go again. She was on the move. If they'd finally decided to kill her, I wasn't doing anything to persuade them otherwise.
boca, ninguém pode te ouvir, caralho. Sua burguesinha, safada. Vou te pegar, é? Vou te pegar antes que eu boto uma bala na tua cabeça. There she was, right in front of me. The drunk fool in me wanted to make a play. But I had just about enough sense to know that I'd end up with another dead girl in my arms if I did. It seems Serrano's boys had targeted the entire Bronco family and didn't give a shit which one they pinched. I opened the door to the next circle of this low-rent hell. like the damp had gotten to them. These were the floor plans to the nightclub. Seemed Mr. Serrano liked to be prepared, proper little boy scout. walk if I went back into the other room.
seen Fabiana in a worrying amount of time, but at least I wasn't following a trail of her fingers. to keep on going across the docks. They were. I had the feeling I'd been running one step behind ever since I got to this country. And maybe a few years before that as well.
Guzmano vai te levar! Pega a bola! Braço, seu filho!